Okay, Game Art students, in this video, we're going to look at using uh, the level blueprint to make a simple key and door. So for starters, I have here this key object that is a blueprint. And please note, the only thing in this key object right now is its rotation. It has an event tick and a local actor rotation set to 5 on the Z. You could also just as easily use a different object and put a rotator uh, component in here and it would do the same thing. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use the level blueprint to uh, specifically deal with this key versus making a bunch of generic uh, or um, like self-contained keys. So I'm going to open my level blueprint like we've used previously when making the uh, respawn and checkpoint system. And I'm going to make sure I have the key selected. And I'm going to right click and choose to call an event function for the power up. So this function is uh, on actor begin overlap. So this says in this specific power up, this specific key, not any key, but this guy right here, uh, when I overlap him, what are we going to do? So the first thing I want to do is actually I'm going to create a new variable on the side here, and I'm going to call it has key. And as usual, I like to capitalize individual words, no spaces, because uh, then uh, Unreal interprets, interprets it the right way. So it is a Boolean, and uh, by default, it will be um, off. And so I'm going to drag from has key over into our level blueprint and choose set rather than get. And we're going to say when we overlap the key, we are going to set has key to true, and then we are going to destroy actor. And we don't want to target self because that would be the level. We want to target the overlapped actor. Basically, the key that's overlapping is what gets destroyed, but it is going to set our new uh, boolean, our new variable, to true, as in I have the key. Then I'm going to choose whatever I want to be my door or my thing to be destroyed. This could be a button that blows up a wall. This could be whatever, but it's the thing that's going to go away. Uh, and right now, what I need is to go over to it and add a trigger box. So uh, if you're in a newer version of Unreal, this will be under uh, Create Volume Trigger. Um, but there's also box trigger under basic, uh, but I'm looking here for a trigger volume. And I want to place it in front, basically where somebody would go to open the door. And I'm going to make it a little skinnier so that it only triggers sort of right in front. And I'm going to make sure I have it selected. And then when I go back into my level blueprint, I'm going to right click and choose the same event, begin overlap, uh, with this trigger volume. And what we need to do is make it get rid of the door, but only if we have the key. So we're going to branch is the name here, which is checking a condition. And the condition we want to check is the has key. So I can drag this in, and this time choose get, and plug it in here. So now it's asking, is has key true? And if so, what are we going to do? I'm going to click my door and right click and just have it create a reference to that door. So here's PL secret door from our persistent level. And I'm going to destroy the door. Now, you could combine this with some things that you've learned in earlier blueprints to make it come back or do other things instead of using destroy. You could hide it and turn off its collision. Um, one last thing I'm going to do here 
is I'm also going to destroy the overlapped actor. Make sure it's overlapped because the other actor is us. The overlapped actor is this trigger volume. And we want to destroy the trigger volume. Otherwise, as we keep standing in it, it'll keep triggering and it'll send an error because it's trying to destroy the secret door that no longer exists. So I'm going to compile and hit play. And right over, if I come over here and walk into the trigger volume, nothing happens. But if I pick up my key, I can then walk back and the door goes away and I go right through it. Please remember that the door itself and the key itself are effectively doing nothing. It is the triggering of walking over the key that gives us a variable and then the triggering of walking over this trigger here that destroys the door. This could be anywhere. It could be over a box. It could be wherever. So there are many different ways you can use this simple blueprint uh, in your level blueprint to do some basic things. And there can be multiple. Each time you can have make a key, this could be has key one, and you could have has key two, and have multiple keys and multiple doors in your design.